What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going to go back to MSL 2816. Now, I was going through some Facebook pages, which I'm part of many of them, and there was a gentleman named Jim West, great anomaly hunter. He found something in, in this, and I, it just automatically drew my eyes to it. And really interesting, I'll show you what that looks like. But what's around it? Is it really what it appears to be at first? All right, let's jump right into this. All right, so here is his post here, Jim West, you can see right there. He posted in Paradigm Shift. I'll give you the link. I'll just give it to you the whole page. You can see what's uh, uh, on there because a lot of these people do a fantastic job of checking this stuff out. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, what is that? Um, first thing I thought of, you know, you got the hillside here. This thing, some kind of wall going up, over, and it looks like it go, kind of goes into this uh, other piece there going into the mountain. And I'm sure you guys would agree. Right? All right. Here is the picture that I've taken, which is a lot bigger area. Um, what I want you guys to see is not so much that, which is intriguing in itself, because right off the bat, you go, okay, clearly that's not something that should be on Mars, okay? I'm going to show you the pan where there's much more in here. Um, so in other words, just a small part. So what we're looking at is very far away. So whatever's in the background or in here is, I would think it's going to be pretty large, right? All right, so let's back out of that, do this. Let me show you where you can find this. Now, this is it right here. You can see my good friend Neville Toms had done this, and it's just about one gigapixel. It's uh, 0.98, right? And you see right here, it's MSL 2816MR. Now, this is pretty far away, right? I mean, and I don't mean like miles upon miles upon miles, although some people may think that, but I don't think they are. Um, but it's still a distance away from the rover a little bit, right? So let's have a look at that. Right there, directly in the center. You can see it right there. Let's get, you can see right here, right and left. Right there, this piece is right around the center. Right there. Okay, let me go ahead and make this full page. Okay, so when you see this, clearly that's not something natural, right? Now, when I say things that are ghosted and they try to get rid of lines and stuff like that, right? Just to the left of this, we have what looks like a pipe or some kind of, Gray piece right there. You can see it right. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen right there where my cursor is. Probably a little small right there. But now just keep following it down. You say, what do you mean follow it down? You can't. That's it. No. Right here, you can see where it's ghosted. Now, let me just go just like this. Right here, I'm going to keep it in the center. There's the piece. Right below it, you can see like an outline of this object. It appears to be continuing. See that right there? Okay. Here's a close-up of this again. What I find interesting is not so much, wow, this is some kind of weird wall going up the side of this hill. And, of course, you can see the wave right here. It's all like a tannish, completely different color compared to the texture up here above it. But what I find interesting is the little pieces that are there on the side of it. And there's other pieces up here. See, like right here. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen. Looks like some kind of weird piping or something. Some kind of rectangular area right there. You can see that. And it has these little pieces, whatever they may be. Just interesting stuff here, guys. At the top here, check this out. I haven't done anything to this photo. All this is is a simple screen grab. So didn't do anything to the colors. Haven't done anything to this yet. Check this out. Appears to be flat up here. Looks like it has this, like, arch hood over it, if you will. And you can see this circle with, like, a darker circle in the middle, right? Look at this over here. These are the pieces. Look at the way that coming down from the mountainside and then straight down. Okay. Guys, if you have to, get out your magnifiers as usual. Pause it where you like. This is what I also found interesting. Right here. Put it right in the middle of the screen. You get this line coming down straight like this here. Looks like it kind of dives down a little bit. But look at the faint little line on the side of it going like this. Okay. So they got a straight line here. Has like almost like a, like a 70 degree angle. Comes down over this side. And then it has the darker edge on this side. What could be doing that, guys? That is just weird to me. All right, here's another piece that's a little weird looking. Right here, it almost has that arch look to it. And you can see it's got a straight edge going like this. See that? Not sure what that is. I don't know if it's something that's on the ground. And this is flat right here. You can see it like it's got a like a uh, lighter colored square type thing. Then it looks like it has like it's kind of stepped kind of thing going on. See that? There's all kinds of stuff in this photo, guys. Look at 
Things off in the back here. See that? There's something right here. Look, look, you can see where they blocked this. You can see at the top of it's white, and it gets, it's a little bit more white right here. It has this round, dark circle type thing, but then it's completely just tan and manipulated over, right? The area, like I said, we're concentrating is right here. To me, I find this fascinating, but my question is, is this like this coming down, goes up like this on an angle, and then straight up on this hillside? Okay, let's address that. Let's go into Photoshop and have a look. Here it is right here. Again, nothing done to it. Now, I'm just going to bring out, you know, better color, just balance everything out a little bit. A little brighter. We can see this a little bit better, right? So let's make this much bigger. I got to back up for this because I made it much larger. Okay. And then I started to burn around to see if there's anything I could find. Now, when you look at the parts in here, like I showed you earlier, what I thought was really interesting around it was these pieces right here. Okay. And again, we can see this. What appears it like it goes like this here. And this is probably not going to be straight, but that's okay. Goes like that, and it has this arch piece like right here going up and over. It looks like it does this. See that? So this is what caught my eye. As far as is this a wall going up like this, going over again with this little arch thing, or is it actually the side of something down here, down in the middle here? Follow me here, guys. When I started to look at this, look carefully. There's a line going straight back right here. And I'm not going to do this straight, but it's okay. So I was docketing. As I seen these lines, I brought them up better. And you can see it right there. Let me just go back one step. Look at the little lines there. Very faint. Just bringing out the lines. Okay, now, saying what's the chances of this thing running parallel with something that's going up a hill? Or is it not a hill at all? Is it thing not going up the hill at all? This is an actual corner to something here. This may be broken apart because it appears to do this, but then it comes down, goes front to back, right here. Try to do this pretty straight. I'm not going to do it 100%. Right here, going across, and this is a corner. You're going to see what I mean. So just picture this thing being like a square platform, and this is actual the side of it that we're seeing. Again, this being the corner, and Again, this is the side of said platform, and this is going off. So what we're seeing right here is an actual corner and not a wall going up this hillside. See that? So now it gives you this weird different perspective. Like, yeah, wow, that is weird. You know, how do we know this isn't down in a hole here? And that what we're seeing, again, is this is a wall. So, again, corner. And just going off here. And then this is part of the structure. Because again, what would be the chance of this thing, if this is the ground, meaning this is a flat surface, how can it be these lines running parallel with a wall going up a hill? So that's what makes me believe that it's something different entirely. Also take note of the stuff up here. Right here. Almost looks like this cannon type thing. Again, these other objects here at the top that cannot be natural. Okay. Kind of has this weird shape. It's almost like there's another round piece right there. But it has this almost arch covering, if you will. Round circle right there. See that? I find that pretty interesting. And again, no way is this stuff natural. Stuff here on the right. Okay. All right. Let me show you the fully enhanced one going to be a little darker, but we want to bring out every single line we can find in here, right? I mean, before I jump in it, check this piece out. Right here. You'll see it once it's the lines are brought out, and you can see it's almost like copying the same thing in here. you got this piece here. Looks like it's doing that. And again, guys, this is a distance off. You've seen the distance. Is it possible these are all structures that are buried in maybe a landslide? Some kind of slide from this mountain. Or is it mostly manipulation that's hiding what's really here? And you can see little pieces in here as well. All right, let's go full enhancement, see what we get. 
Let's bring out every line here. All right. So this being darker now, look at these pieces now. All in here. Again, get your magnifiers. I'm going to go like this to back up just a hair bit. Pause this here. Have yourself a look at it. And again, I'm just going to circle some of these areas, you know, the best parts to look at. All this whole area right here, again, with this wall up here at the top, way at the top in the middle, those pieces there. On the very left, we have this other piece over here, kind of weird looking piece. And even this piece here is pretty interesting right here. I'll put this in yellow. Okay. Another thing that's interesting is these things on the hillside. What could that possibly be? Okay. Now let's zoom in. Again, this whole corner area looks like pipe. Looks like some kind of weird thing right here. And it looked like they kind of went over this, but you can see it actually continues on. Almost looks like a rebar, right? Where it's smooth, but it has like these little uh, protrusions sticking out of it. And it has that piece to it. See that? Okay. All right, let's move it up over here. Again, we have things over here. Look at this. The way they did this is like they, it's like, totally different color and texture from here to here what you want to look at is the things that are here now you can see where they did something here i'm not sure what to make of this thing but you can see it's doing this very faintly i can see something doing this it's not very straight very very faint let me remove the lines this they put something right here it's like a tan almost circle type thing right Back out just a hair bit. Okay. We've got this other piece here. And again, folks, look at the stuff at the hillside up here. This is what I find interesting is the way it does this. Got this piece going straight across and then down. You guys see that? Which goes over here. Going straight down like it's sticking out of the mountain type thing. And it almost looks like some kind of weird cannon type thing. This piece coming straight out of there. Appears to have these little docking sections. This almost looks like it's something around there. I'm not sure what to make of that. Something coming down like this. Up here, upper left. Guys, we're seeing ruins here. This could have been all on a hillside. I don't believe that these are actually a hill anyway. I don't think they're hills. I think they're structures. Or they might have been built on the side of these hills. Because way down here in the valley of these mountains, these things could have been filled with water in between these hills, right? And these were just built into the hillside. Very good possibility, right? Kind of like um, like the time machine, the new one, where they had them all built in these off the side of the mountains and inside the mountains. Uh, we don't know. We have no idea. We automatically assume we know, right? But we don't. Something else has been hidden. You can kind of see this line, and I didn't notice this before until now. Got this going like this. And you can see it's nice and perfect. Like, look at the way that radius of that is going like this here. Is that something you see in nature, that smooth? I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying, but what are the chances, right? We've got this piece here, like I said earlier right here what are these pieces here this piece here i, I sh showed you guys earlier but look what's around it now what looks like other pieces of ground right here like this okay another piece coming down like this almost looks like it has sections again just like that one there that and look at the openings to these i'm just going to put an arrow going down to them see that to me guys this is intelligently made there's no doubt about it i find it really interesting and just cool at the same time because we're seeing things on another planet that nasa claims it never had life again just the stuff in here 
And I don't even know if it, no, it doesn't even go that far. I just noticed this. Check this out. It appears to do this. Looks like very faintly there's something else here. We got these lines in. This is what had me thinking. This is not a wall going up a side of a hill. It looks like it's more of a side wall in this hole down here. Like that. So, I mean, you guys may see it differently, and that's fine too. All of the pieces up here. Like I said, picture something falling down the side of a mountain or a hillside. Is it possible? This is the reason why a lot of this is jumbled up or just kind of like in disarray, and it doesn't look like it's very straight. Here's another thing I found pretty interesting. It looks like part of it's like doing this. Okay. Almost looks like it's rounded here at the end. Looks like it's going into something here. Like some kind of piece of steel or something, but almost looks like it's the whole thing's doing that. You see that? Something right here, it's got a, got a gray color to it. You can see that right there. More pieces inside here. You can see they're whited right there. Or like a tannish gray type thing. Not sure what to make of that. You got these two pieces right here, right on the side of each other. You can see the line in between. What are we seeing here? And guys, like I said, this is much bigger when you check this out. It's right there in the middle of the screen, right smack dab, right there. Look at the size of this area. Now, we've seen this before. This is supposed to be all these buttes and mountains and everything from Mount Sharp. Clearly, that's not what this is. I mean, you can just see that. These look like more than just mountains, especially when you see these things uh, sticking out like this here. Uh, I don't believe that's mountains at all. Unless they did actually build into them, but, I mean, come on, guys. Look at this. Look how crappy that looks. Look at the detail in that. That's how you know they're putting some kind of manipulation or some kind of weird texture over there to give it that weird uh, kind of look. And something else I want you guys to take note of. Look at the top of this mountain, the supposed mountain. Look at the faint lines running along it right here. Just follow the cursor. Going up and down. Now, watch the face of this. Notice how it's kind of docked this way here. Kind of comes down, comes straight down. See that? And it happens to be all dark, but look at the way these lines go up and they come back down with the color. So in other words, you got side coming up, goes up around here. You got these two lines right here at the top. And they kind of look like they go up and over. You can see the lines still continuing on, coming down like over here. Almost like this another weird arch kind of thing in the side of this hill. See that? It just happened to be docked right there. And his lines going... Like they're outlining the top of this dock area. To me, that's manipulation. This thing is no mountain at all. These are not buttes. I'll swear to it on any of these. Now, is there rocks and mountains and stuff like that around? Sure. But I don't believe that these are the case. There's much more in here, guys. And of course, you guys will get the link to that. You don't have to worry about looking for it. That's how we roll here. Here's another interesting feature right here. Look at this thing. Let it go ahead and center. Look at this way this thing. I'm going to put it right smack dab in the center of the page. Look at this thing goes up, comes back down, goes across, and goes back over to the other side, and there's something right underneath that. What is the chance of that thing doing that? See that? I don't know, guys. You tell me. I'm going to go ahead and just back out a little bit. Guys, pause it right here. Have yourself a look. Tell me what you think. Guys, what are we seeing here? To me, as always, I'm seeing ruins. I'm seeing things scattered about. I'm seeing things that just should not be on a planet. The NASA claims barely, you know, there's water there, probably microbial life, and nothing more. We're seeing much more than that. As always, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys see in this photo. Are you seeing something much different than me? Drop your comments down below. Please like and share. Always appreciate it. And give the video a thumbs up, guys. It helps share this video. I've got two moon videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed to my other Lunar Anomalies and Beyond channel, please do so. Hit the little notification bell, like on this channel. Hit the notification bell. This way you hit, you'll be alerted to every new video coming out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.